All right. If you're not on the list, there's still plenty of time to work your way up the leaderboard. And if you heard that voice and you wondered who's talking right now, <laughs> it's going to be Eric Problem, right? What's up? Nothing much. How you doing? Thank you so much for being here. We're very excited to you. Um, I'm excited. Anybody who follows the Madden game in the community obviously knows who you are. But to people tuning into the NFL Network who might not be familiar with it, tell us a little bit how you got started in gaming. Um, I got started early age. Uh, Sega Genesis was a Christmas gift. So I've been playing since 93, Madden 93. Um, born in 88, so for a long time. And I've uh, been playing competitively since 2005. Now you've played competitively, as you say. Mm -hmm. Have you played against professional athletes like our own MJD? <laughs> I've played a couple. I mean, played, quote unquote, because that's what they think they're, <laughs> they're doing. But uh, it's pretty much domination. <laughs> it seems a little... I, I, you seem a little disrespected <laughs> over there, MJD. Are you okay? We've never played. We've been in the same building, but we've never crossed paths like we were supposed to. So it's okay. I mean, at the end of the day, we're going to see who the GOAT is after today. We're in the arena now. Yeah, so. that's, that's what I said. This yeah. is where I live. This is where yeah. I do. I was born. I haven't. I haven't. Rank hasn't been here, Scott. It's just been me. Okay. I haven't eaten in like three months. <laughs> Starving myself for this this opportunity. So, problem. By the uh, way, we, you know, we go way back. Yeah. But the. Uh, how nervous are you? Like, this is a national TV contest. This isn't like in the your mom's basement. This is this is a legit tournament between y'all two here today. So, how are you feeling about that? Um, it's just Madden. We're yeah. both competitors, and just like when he lace up on Sundays, he's not nervous. It's a, it's a game you're competing, and you, you just the best man wins. Yeah. He's just in the crib now. He said the best man. Yeah, so he's at the he's in so the So he's crib already now. giving it up. By the way, I've never been in my mother's basement. Just throw that out there. So, 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 no, this, I'm just saying, like, Greg, you know how this is. You know, when you, you invite your friends over to come right. through, like, this is my system. This is this is it. That's my that's my the game. TV room. takes a little bit of time getting used to. And I know when you play in those tournaments, a lot of people are intimidated by you when you walk into the building. Mm -hmm. Now, I think you're on an equal footing because MJD certainly. Yeah, some people they uh, they crack under pressure, so he doesn't seem like he's that type of guy. So I don't expect him to fold like that, but. I'll, I'll make them fold, you know, myself. Either pressure's okay. gonna bust pipes or make diamonds. There it is. <laughs> and I'm looking shiny right now, can you not tell? Okay, well, you're, you know, you're gonna get your chance to do that, but we did ask the folks at home to participate in this chat. That's uh, right. We put some, we asked you to hit us up on Twitter to uh, send some questions to Eric. Mm -hmm. And so the first one is, and it comes from Hammer UK 21 wants to know how he can improve his usering skills. Um, one way to improve your usering and just Madden skill overall is just getting reps in playing against, you know, good competition online, whether it's draft champions, but head-to-head -head with ranked teams. Um, just practice and reps. There's really no one thing to do to get your users better. And a lot of people, uh, when they first start out, they're playing the computer. Is there any chance to get better just playing against the computer? Um, your clock management can get better. As far as um, your user in and dictating you know where to go with the ball when someone else is using it on defense you can't replicate that with the computer because they, they just do their own thing there's no like okay i'm gonna jab one jab one step to the left and then go right computer just goes you know where it's supposed to go gotcha are you always using the middle linebacker or do you move back to safety and tell people why you probably shouldn't be one of the linemen so as far as using goes where i've played over the years i used to play on my safety Okay. Back when I used to use the Eagles and uh, the Falcons, I was Brian Dawkins, yeah. <laughs> Coleman um, for the, the Falcons. Sure. Now I moved down, you know, in the box because I like to blow up the run a little bit better. Um, I like to be able to guard running backs out of the backfield. When I'm on my safety up top, I can't, you know, come down on a running back when I'm in, you know, deep thirds or, you know, qu quarters or whatever I'm in. So I like to play on the linebacker now just so I can help in, in the run a little bit better. And I personally and I, feel like the line actually performs better when you aren't them. Right. You know, like Madden's they'll just let changed. them do their things. Yeah. yeah, Madden's changed too over the years. You know, uh, as far as linebacker position goes, there wasn't always that linebacker that's 88 speed. You yeah. know, the game has changed. You know, there used to be like 70, 76, 77 on right. each team. Now that every team has a, a 85 speed defensive end, even. That's right. You know, so the speed has changed over the years, and that's why I'm allowed to come down and play user on a, on a fast linebacker. That's a great point. We got another Twitter question from Bonafide Schuler, who says he can't seem to be able to stop the drag route. <laughs> What's the best way to be able to D up against that? Um, as far as user and goes, if you're in zone, you just want to guard that yourself. That's one of the perks of playing on um, one of your linebackers. You can come down on drag routes or slants. You can get in front of them. 
if you're playing, if you don't want to use her, you want to play on your lineman or you want to play on your sa safety. This man-to-man -man defense really gives the drag route, you know, a lot of a lot of pressure this year. We also got a question in from the Mutthead Forum users. Wes West Welker asks, if you have a one non-starting QB, if you're going to start your team without one quarterback, who is it going to be? That's a non-starter? Who's not a quarterback outside of another position? Who are you going to start your team with? Outside of the quarterback, uh -huh. who's, what's the position you like to use? Oh, running, running back. Running, running back, easy, yeah, because the running back, it gets so many touches for me. Gets at least half of my touches go to go to the running back at least half. So there's you know free tip for him later <laughs> on. Right? Yeah, like I've been watching you. Like I, I've been, I was at the crib studying. Don't worry. Okay. okay. We saw in that tournament before. You like to use the two back sets and kind of rotate yeah, through. Yeah. Yeah. You want to get those running backs fresh and fast. We you gave Scott two backs and he uh, didn't do so well with them. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have a quarterback. We Just tried saying. to run it, but I excuses. Think, I, I think that's a great point because hey. I feel like players. Don't run the ball enough online, and it just leads to more turnovers, clock management that you talked about. Yes. Just kind of a kind of. A, I mean, throwing's fun. Hashtag Don't get me wrong. Scott. Scotty, Scotty Cole train. Scotty Cole <laughs> train <laughs> excuses. Yeah. All right. Well, Pablo, we're going to ask you to stick around because I sure. think that we're going to invite you up into the arena. I want to get in, in a few minutes. All right. <laughs>